Welcome back. It's time to create the service object. Um, just thing, one thing I wanted to mention from the, the last video here um, was that feel free if you've copied this data um, out from your, your back end, uh, if you copied in your code and your libraries and everything, um, most of these things you can just go go ahead and, and delete, right? So, um, so just keep things clean here. You could even delete the zip file that was generated uh, if you wanted. Um, so you can always generate it again if you need to. All right. Okay, so uh, we're in our um, back in our client here, and we're inside main activity. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to get uh, we want to get a, a service object. Um, and what let's 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 see a little bit about what we have here in our generated code. Um, so we have a movie quotes and then a movie quotes model, right? So let's let's take a peek here. Uh, the model itself has a movie quote class and it has a movie quote collection right um, so individual movie quotes I don't think there's gonna be any surprise here right have things like entity keys and last touch date times and movies and quotes and and so on okay um, and there are getters and setters for for each of them right uh, so 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 pretty nice uh, movie quotes itself um, has a few different things here um, the movie quotes class if we take a peek at this guy um, we'll see that that it extends uh, this this whole long package here, um, abstract Google JSON client, right? Um, so our movie quotes class is a JSON client, right? Um, so we're going to be um, you know referring to it there. Notice that this um, you know stores where you know our actual backend is located. All of this code was auto generated since our from our backend, right? So it's it's really really kind of nice here, right? So. Um, but what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to construct um, one of these guys, and actually we're going to use this uh, this builder class to do it. Uh, so back in our own code uh, in main activity, what I'd like you to do is do a couple things. So so first of all, we are going to set up um, a field here, right? Um, and it's going to be an instance of this movie quotes. Now I will be honest, it gets a little bit confusing here. You'll notice that there's a lot of things uh, with movie quotes that have been generated. Um, we actually want the movie quotes uh, class here, and it'll even say service definition for this guy. All right, so it's going to be lowercase q, I guess, is one easy way to find it. Um, um, but I, st I still want to use the, the name here, um, uh, m service. It probably should have been called service itself, uh, but you know they, they choose to name it after the, after the actual backend. Uh, all right, so what do we want to do? We want to use a buildy here. So let's declare locally a movie quotes dot builder. Remember that was that inner class there. And we'll call this guy builder. And that's going to be a new and the same thing, the new uh, movie quotes dot builder. Let's spell it correctly. And this is going to take three parameters here, a transport, a JSON factory, uh, and a request initializer. Uh, let's start off with, with the transport. Um, what we're going to do is is type in Android HTTP, okay. Dot, and it, there's a, a factory method here to return a new compatible transport, um, and that's what we're going to want. Okay. Uh, the second one is a JSON factory, right? So here we're going to want um, we're going to want Google's version of this, which they they call JSON rather than JSON. Uh, so we're going to make a new JSON factory okay so I'm passing that instance uh, and then the last one here is the request initializer and that has to do with authentication which we're not using so this guy is going to be null um, do get in the habit of, of, of paying attention to that though uh, because when the time time comes uh, in later apps to do uh, you know to do authentication you're going to want to make sure you sure you set it all right. Uh, all right the builder hey builder would you build? Okay, great. And what is it, it going to return? It's going to return a, 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 the service here. So if we click on this guy, we'll see that the return type is a movie quotes object, right? So the one here that we want to store in our field. So let's store that guy off. So m service, um, my service is going to be builder dot build, right? So what have we done? We've said essentially, hey, you know, go ahead and 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 get an HTTP transport, right? So so, so we can communicate over the internet. Uh, for for JSON, we're going to be using Google's version, the JSON factory, 
right? And from that, I want you to build a service, okay? Uh, the service is what we're gonna be using uh, for the rest of our time. Uh, come back next time when we learn about async tasks and how we're gonna use them to, um, to query uh, the backend for all of our data, right? See you later.